Hi, this is Peter from Sunnybank Studios doing one of our quick spots on simple steps that you can take to improve your technique. Um, so this one's a bit of a newbie, a newbie tip. A lot of people when they first start playing guitar have some misconceptions about the way they hold the pick. Now, it's quite normal for people to assume that you hold the pick this way. Now, Generally, this is the grip that you would use if you're feeding a sardine to a sea lion, but not to play guitar. So, let's have a look at the way that we should hold our pick properly. Okay, step one, take your right hand and extend it back. We're going to push back against the muscles for probably 30 seconds or so. I'm not going to take up much, too much time doing that for the uh, whole video. And then we're going to relax, bring, let your fingers close naturally. And if we look at that thumb and forefinger position, the pick will just sit in there between the thumb and forefinger. Okay, the next thing that we want to do is kids, uh, another tip, handy guitar playing tip, don't swing on gates. Uh, and uh, don't crush your thumb when you're a kid. But this just goes to show that you can overcome adversity and still play guitar. What we also want to do here is take our index finger and just tuck it back slightly so that we're not grating that finger upon the strings. Okay, next what you want to do is just take your guitar, lay it face down, <coughs> excuse me, lay it face down on your on your thigh, take your hand, place it on the back of the guitar, that way we have a nice, you can see we have a nice flat aspect here from our thumb through up to the to the wrist. Okay, next uh, we'll turn our guitar over. Okay, we resituate that pick there against the outside of the forefinger. I want to place our hand just on or behind the bridge that allows you to palm mute and also gives you a very very good indication of where your hand sits in relation to each string so over time you'll develop the muscle memory to be able to pick out any string at will okay now most importantly what we want to do with the pick is we want to use the leading edge of the pick to ride up over the strings almost like cresting a wave on the way down we're picking at probably a 30, 15 to 30 degree angle relative to the strings. And on the way back, I like to just, I adjust the curvature of my thumb there. So I go from convex to slightly concave and use the trailing edge of that pick on the way up. So your pick will glide across the strings at an angle. Uh, you'll only use probably the... Uh, just the very tip of the pick, a couple of millimetres, or in empirical, like an eighth or sixteenth of an inch. And just to illustrate that difference, so um, using the seal feeding technique, uh, it's common amongst beginners, what we find is that we have little control over our picking arc, and the pick catches on the string as we're playing with the full face of the pick. So that gives you a very harsh sounding chord. On the way up to, uh, we tend to find that if you use that pick, the seal feeding technique, it'll drive people from the room. Okay, but if we now pick at an angle using the leading and trailing edge of the pick, get a nice, pleasant sound. We also have far better pick control, so we can work on single strings. zero in on five chords. We can make some bar chords sound nice and pleasing rather than harsh. And again, properly. And finally, here's just one little exercise that you can do at home while watching TV. It doesn't require any mental effort at all. We're just going to use alternate picking. We'll pick up and down on each string in turn, starting on the low E string working our way up to the high E and returning. Okay, so just pay attention to those few simple steps when you're first learning to pick and strum and it will enhance your playing greatly and you'll be surprised by the difference in sound and uh, the ease with which you can pick out notes and articulate chords. So, thank you very much. I'll see you next time.